Hi and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a small shop haul. This has been sent to me very kindly by my wonderful friend, also known as Colourfully Optimistic, is her colouring channel. The Diamond Otter is her diamond painting channel. And of course, her wax company is called Pure Bliss wax core so you can find her on etsy i'll link the details in the information box down below and so i she sent me a discount code for her web for her uh, etsy store and i picked some things and they have arrived so i'm going to show you those to you today you get this cute little thank you card from her with a couple of her stickers in here we got the dare to dream about diamond painting i think you can buy these from her store as well her she does make stickers as well i think so anyway and then we've got stick and sparkle baby i like that one uh, apart from that you've got the little how to here so it says not sure how to use a diamond painting put to your wax watch this video and um, so she's actually sent you instructions um, so that you can learn how to use her products properly so obviously you're not getting them the wrong way around you're not getting things confused and of course all waxes they work slightly differently so it's really nice that she's kind of added in how her products products perform and how to use hers um beautiful little pink box with the little um card paper um pieces i really love that it's paper because uh, you can easily recycle it um i got a pomegranate vanilla 100 percent soy wax melt this is not diamond painting wax people the wax melts go into wax burners you can pull a chunk or two chunks off pop in a wax burner and they will scent your room a little bit like a candle but without having to have an open flame if you've got an electric one or a candle melting down into your wick if you're using separate little tea lights so that is a wax melt in pomegranate vanilla thank you very much my lovely i will try that and see what it's like um i then bought her little three like a sampler pack they came in this cute little uh, organza bag and i got bubblegum pop coconut cream pie and crisp apple so those are really really amazing beautiful scents um they come in these sealed little baggies it's better to keep them in there because they will keep um fresh and clean and they'll keep their scents better oh that is beautiful bubblegum pop that actually smells like the old-fashioned kind of um uh, those little square pink bubble gums that you get uh, so when you open this up you'll put it bear with me let's let's unfold this like a sensible person open it up and you have a little pad of putty there to go into your diamond painting pen and i am for the sake of life bear with me i will get myself a pen okay hey presto so everybody is different and it's about preference and learning what you like but i like um to put wax into my single placer and put it into my multi placer and what i do with these is i will take a little strip from the edge push it down rock it side to side and then left to right and kind of drag it away from the putty just to get as little excess as possible i then just run my nail along the edge and take off the excess and that can just go back into your little pad and give it a little push and you have one row of beautifully scented bubblegum pop putty in one pen and then i just like to wrap mine back up and pop them back into my bag and I always reseal it it just keeps them fresh and then the wax I got from her the maple pecan um sticky wax and this I have already opened this it's a a screw top and it smells fantastic fantastic and so with wax and it'll depend what country you're in obviously over here in the uk it's not too hot so my wax is pretty firm which is nice i don't like a super soft wax and all you're going to do is take your pen and gently scroll it sideways through your wax give it a little turn 
and a little sideways push and a scroll and it's just going to fill and it will to be honest overfill a little bit your pen and then I like to just take that excess and just flatten it back off back into my tub so I'm not wasting anything although let's be honest this is going to last ages and now I have waxing my single placer putting in my multi placer um, wax just does perform better in a single place so it can be a bit hard work in a multi placer to be honest um, and like I say I just find that I I mean I do like putty for both um, I do find that putty works quite nicely in a single placer but I don't like wax at all in my multi placer for some reason so like I said it's about playing around and having a try both ends to see how you prefer and if you like it. Your wax consistency will change a little bit with temperature so obviously if it's super soft it's because you just don't want to be keeping it next to a radiator. It is a wax and it will, will melt with heat um, so extreme cold extreme hot will make a difference. But yeah, I am super thankful for those. I love them already. Haven't tried this yet, but you know, guys, <laughs> I will, as always, let you know how everything went in my month in review video. And uh, I will test this out and we will see. And yeah, so this is my little haul from Pure Bliss Wax Co. She is obviously... Um, based in the USA <laughs> so it's a lot cheaper for you guys across the pond to get these things than it is for us over here and you can visit her on her Etsy store she always has loads of different um, scents for her wax melts and for her putties and waxes I've noticed and I think she tends to pop little different bits and pieces of extra in her shop she does do a monthly subscription box which is very fun and she pops lots of different pieces and pe parts in a lot of diamond painting stuff and I do believe some wax melts tend to be in her box as well which is fun so yeah guys any questions pop them in the details down below my camera is sliding off to one side for some reason um, and as always have an amazing week happy crafting happy coloring hope this was interesting to you guys and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching